Hey everyone, Krista Seiden here from KS Digital, and I want to show you quickly how you can use report collections and report filters in Google Analytics 4 as somewhat of a pseudo views replacement. Now, to get going, we need to make use of the customization feature in Google Analytics 4 for the reports that we want to customize. So I want to create a report collection that is only going to be US data. And I want to have all my favorite most used reports in this. So let's go ahead and start with a copy of our pages and screens report. So I'll need to go to the pages and screens report. And I'm going to go ahead and come up to customize report in the upper right hand corner. And I'm going to add a report filter. I'm going to click in and add country is United States. I hit apply, and now this data will be filtered down to just US data. I'm also going to go ahead and change my primary dimension to page path and screen class by setting that as default. Hit apply, and this will now use the page path rather than the page title in the report as the primary dimension. For me, this is a little more similar to Universal Analytics. I like the way it looks, gives me more information, so that's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a new report, and I am going to call it US Page Path and hit save. Now I'm going to do the same thing for a couple of additional reports. So I'm going to start in reports. I'm going to go and do this for my traffic acquisition report. Go ahead and hit customize. Add that same filter for country is United States. Hit apply. That will filter this report down to just US data once again. Hit save as a new report. Give this a name. In this case, I'm going to call it US Traffic Acquisition. Hit save. And I'll continue on this process for any reports that I want to have filtered for just US data in my US collection. Once I have all of the reports that I'm interested in filtered for just US data, I now need to create a report collection for US data. To do that, I'm going to go back to the reporting UI and scroll down to library at the bottom of reports. Now you'll only see this if you have editor access to this property. That's what you need to be able to both customize reports and build collections. Um, but if you do and you click in there, you can now use the feature called collections to build out just a US version of reporting. So I already have one started here for US. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that. You can see here I have a collection called United States. If I hit edit collection, it will open it up. And I've already added traffic acquisition, landing page, page path, events, tech details, and demographic details to this report. I can create a new topic in here if I wanted to separate this out between maybe uh, acquisition data and engagement data all for the US and have it kind of more tiered. But I think for now, this is good for my needs. So I will save it and then go back to the collection overview and hit publish by clicking the three dots, publishing it. And now this collection appears in my left hand nav. And as you can see, I have all of these reports available right here. So I can click into a report and it's going to open that US version of my traffic acquisition report or any of these other filtered down reports to just show US data. Now, this is a great way to have your teams be able to navigate to data that they are interested in, but don't necessarily want to filter themselves or maybe they don't know how to filter it themselves. You've already set this up for them. It's kind of like a view in that maybe previously they would have gone to their US view. Now they can just go to their US report collection in the left hand nav and have all of those reports available right for them to begin their analysis needs.